Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be installing ImageBurn. ImageBurn is a software that you can use to make digital copies of your CDs so that you can store them on a network or on your hard drive and not have to worry about scratching your CD. So today we're going to learn how to install ImageBurn. We're going to create an ISO. We're going to mount that ISO. We're going to eject that ISO. So we're going to open up our web browser and we're going to put in our address bar imageburn.com. You can also search, you click their official website, you go to the download section, you click on mirror number seven, it's provided by imageburn. Go ahead and launch the installer when it when it's complete. Tell it yes, you want to elevate. Next, sometimes you have to be careful. This is ad supported, so you just want to make sure they don't uh, bundle any additional freeware or adware with this software. Uh, so read each prompt carefully. Not that it's a bad software that it bundles, uh, but I don't really want a vast on my system. So once you get up through that, just hit next and it will go ahead and install. Uh, Yes or no, if you want it to check periodically for updates. Oh, where'd my installer go? Oh, it's down here. Okay, so click finish on your installer. Then we can go ahead and close the web browser. We're done with it. So go ahead and click the icon on your desktop. Now in my case, ImageBurn isn't going to see the CD drive that I'm using because I actually have an ISO mounted uh, for this demonstration purpose. So when I go here in a sec, um, you're going to see it not find the drive. Uh, so you can write image to disk, create image from files, write files to disk, create image from disk. That's what we're going to select. And right there you see where it says no devices detected. So we're going to go ahead and close it. A little warning. It likes that log to be open. You can just close it and close image burn. In this case, I'm going to relaunch it. Normally you just hit copy and paste if you're duplicating an ISO. So we're going to click create image from disk. Now it sees the drive. I'm selecting my drive as drive letter E. I'm selecting the destination that I want to save the ISO file. There it is, drive E is that the disk that we're going to copy. Destination. I'm going to put this in the documents folder. And notice it's .iso, ISO. And we'll click start. And because this is only a 23 megabyte file, it completes very quickly. And it plays a tone. I'll show you how to disable that in just a minute. Do that. You can go to tools. Go down to settings. You're going to be looking for the sounds tab. Click the sounds tab, uncheck play success sound, and click OK. All right, so now with our ISO created, you can just double click that file and it will actually mount it to your PC just as if you had physically inserted a CD drive into your computer. So you can see the files in there off that second second drive, that drive letter F. So to remove that, you just right click on it and you can choose eject. And once you eject, it's done. You can copy that ISO, that original file that we made that's in our documents folder. That's it, guys. Like and subscribe.